Alrighty guys, and welcome to uh, Red Orchestra. This time we're going to be in um, Rising Storm, and I'm going to show you some of the new stuff I've gotten as of late. Uh, in case you don't know, every 25 levels you get on a weapon, you get some new stuff. So, uh, there are two for um, uh, Rising Storm that I got. This one, the BAR, I got a Field Modified Hand Grip. Uh, which basically adds a uh, front, uh, like a vertical post to my gun. You can kind of see it there, right in the front, which um, decreases recoil and uh, makes it so that you can fire a lot more accurately. If I can hit these freaking guys. Ah. Man. So, um, that's what I got for the BAR. I think that there's. Possibly another upgrade for this. Not sure what it's going to be. Uh, I can check after this. Um, but the other one for Red Orchestra that I got was. Um, no, shoot him. Uh, the other one I got was the uh, trench gun, which I'll show you next. Right, and if you press 6, most weapons will have an alternate fire, which. For the BAR, just happens to be a slower rate of fire, and uh, it makes you it makes it easier to control. Especially there you go. There's a good view of the hand grip. It kind of looks like a Thompson, um, like one of the early 20s style Thompsons, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's certainly a lot easier to control now. And uh, this is only level, I think, 25 or 26 right now. I literally just got it, this battle. So, that's the only reason I'm showing. I think I just shot my own guy there. I freaking hate. I'm going to play in an AI game purely because I want to show this off, and I don't want to have, like, a bunch of our guys, or actually, like, good players playing against. So that's why I'm doing that. Uh, next time I die, I'll switch to the trench gun. And I got quite a bit of stuff in uh, regular Red Orchestra 2 to show you. Die. My god. Literally took a full mega BAR. They're just running around like ants on an anthill right now. Alright, I might just suicide up just so I can switch to the trench gun. The trench gun isn't too interesting as far as what I got. Um, you'll see in a second uh, what it was specifically. Come on. Somebody shoot me. Come on, die. My god. I don't know, is this just me or are these guys taking a lot of hits? I mean, normally with the BAR, it's like one or maybe two shots. Yeah, there we go. Somebody. Oh, my own guy burned me. Alright. Uh, no, I'm not pressing it. Alright. Uh, and the other one is the M12 trench gun. You'll see, he might have seen it right there. Uh, I guess he said sorry. Whatever. Uh, and you can see, bayonet. Very nice. Basically makes this thing the ultimate close range weapon. Pretty fun. Unfortunately, this map is not exactly very good for the uh, close range stuffs. So, um, might have a little bit of problems. That flamethrower, I think that's the second or third time he's burned me in this game, to be honest. Uh, so, it's always nice. Alright, punji sticks. Don't want to get stabbed by those. Get over this, and let's get some... Sniper shotgun! Come on! I can't just say sniper shotgun, it's actually got to do it. There we go.
go. So basically the shotgun only has a bayonet now added to it. So nothing too special about that. And uh, once I die, we'll get on to the uh, rest of this stuff. Alright, we'll get on to our regular Red right, Ops 2 now. What everybody is waiting for is the Germans. Uh, the first gun we have is the MG34. Uh, basically, I'm running the wrong way for this. Um, this I've first ever gun I've gotten to level 50. Um, and let me say, it is a beast. Basically, at level 25, you get a... Uh, you might have seen me play in possibly other ones, but you get dual, uh, I think they're called snail magazines, and they, it's got 75 rounds in it, um, and you get two of the, you get, uh, those, when you first get the gun, you only have a 50 round mag, and then it goes to 75, and once you hit level 50, you get a 250 round belt, I think you get two of them, I want to say, yep, two belts, two extra belts, you get, uh, this belt, one other belt, and then a half belt, I believe is how it goes. So, let's see here. Um, there we go. There we go. Some freaking kills. You know, farm that shit. Come on. Let me shoot enough so I can reload. When I first, uh, when I was playing this last night, um, me and, uh, Master Chief, who, who, uh, basically inspired me to get this, uh, belt, he had it first and he loves it, so I decided, you know what, why not? Worth it. It's actually really easy to do, you just find a server where there's just a bunch of AI, and you can literally just do this, press the middle mouse button, go semi-auto, and you can kind of spam shots, because, let's be honest, you, it only takes about one, maybe two hits to kill stuff, unlike the BAR, it literally is, oh, there we go, there's, there's the first reload, full mag, oh my god, you literally, this is actually really fun, alright, there we go, barrel overheated, now you can keep firing after that smoke, but you press six, and reload the old barrel, there you go. Now the nice thing about this maxed out is you don't even have to take out the magazine to do that. Whereas every other one you literally had to take out the magazine and then reload it. This one is just a quick change of the uh, magazine. So I mean you literally get a bonus on everything. You reload quicker. Your guy, um, your guy will reload quicker. He will do like everything faster along with uh, you get so much more ammo. Now, I'm gonna, I could pretty much stay this entire game with these AI. Pretty stupid. Regardless if there's a freaking machine gunner here or not, they will just pile up. So, I think right about, after I run out of ammo for this belt, I'm gonna go uh, suicide rush so I can show you the rest of the guns I have. Unlocked. Alright, kill that guy. Come on. Hit him. Hit him. There we go. I mean, as you can see, you can basically decimate the enemy team. I've been here, what, three or four minutes? I've already got 42 kills. Now you level up this thing in AI battles pretty fast. I went from uh, level 36 to uh, 50 in less than a day. Right, there we go. I'm going to reload this, and I think you get a half belt for the last one. Yep.
Somebody I can shoot. There's gotta be somebody. Just gonna waste a bunch of ammo. Let's see this thing in full auto. There we go. I had to see it for about three seconds on full auto. I mean, this thing fires incredibly fast when you're not firing semi. It's it's easy to mow down a lot of people. So that's that. Uh, next, we will be a uh, probably just gonna be an elite assault because I have quite a few guns. Unfortunately, the server doesn't let me. Uh, so I'm gonna have to switch sides, but it doesn't let me. Um, uh, use enemy loadouts, which would be really nice, because I wouldn't have to change teams, but now I'm going to have to change teams. Yeah, I know, this is really stupid of me. It's actually kind of... Uh, I actually survived that. Oh, a little bit of lag. A lot of lag. Reload. Don't aim in. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Alright. Um, we go MP40. Next one. Got two more guns after the MP40 for the uh, Germans, and then we got two for the Russians to look at. Now this one, as you can kind of see right here, I've got two magazines right next to each other. And that is uh, dual mags. Pretty nice. As you can see, quick reload. Basically just moving one over to the other. There we go. Now I think you press 6 to yep, get a new mag in that second one. Or actually move that one over and then you hit reload. You can reload that mag. There you go. So basically when you press 6 you move the one that was in the uh... That was kind of stupid. Uh, basically, when you press six, you move the one that was in the uh, reloading thing to your um, uh, to the spare container, whatever it's called. I'm lagging really bad right now. So I just reload that. Press 6, move that one over, reload. It's kind of tedious to do it every once in a while. Basically, that quick fire, or that quick reload is very useful. Like that. Oh, Ilya got me. Alright, on to Rifleman. Yep, that's right, the car 98. We got one more rifle to look at. And we'll go to the um, uh, Russians. If I can spawn in today, that'd be nice. Oh man, I might not have time. I might have to go wait until the next match. Alright, now on the car, I basically got a bayonet. That's it. Uh. I kind of want to get this thing to level 50 because um, it says you can remove a sight hood. I've been looking over the internet and nobody has put up a picture at all. It's kind of annoying. They all kind of complain about it. Then they're like, oh yeah, well, I got used to it then and whatever. But nobody has, like, what the sight hood is. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Um, but. Yeah. Let me let's go to reinforcements. Alright, we will let them attack that hall because I kinda wanna prolong this battle. And I'm gonna 
rifleman. That's right. Um, come on. Heal myself. Oh, that was stupid. I should have died. I should have just killed myself. Really, really lagging. Alright, thank you, An Anatoly. Alright, and then the last one for this one is going to be... Uh, yep, the Gewehr. Oh, man. The Gewehr. You know, I like this gun a lot when it's loaded. It's just reloading this thing is a bitch. Oh, my God, I hate it. Um... Basically, you have to you get two stripper clips to reload, and I'll show you that. Oh, yeah, I got bayonet for this one. That's it. Uh, and you only get eight stripper clips total. The SVT, the uh, Russian equivalent, has seven magazines, which is equal to fourteen stripper clips. So each stripper clip only has holy crap! I can't kill anybody. Each stripper clip only has um, five rounds, and here we go. One, two, alright, in a second you'll see the SVT-40 and I'll show you how nice that is. Come on. Wow. Alright. Change roll. Yeah, I think that was it. The Germans. But you can kind of see how that one's annoying. Uh, kind of going through this pretty fast. Ooh, this one, PPSH-41. Oh. Okay, I'll be, oh, I'll do the SVT right away. Here we are in the SVT. This one only has a uh, bayonet. Oh, you do get eight mags. Never mind, I thought you only got seven. I lied. You get eight mags for both. However, this one has actual magazines. The other one only has uh, strip clips, so basically twice as much ammo in this thing. Alright, let's see here. Gunfall. Gosh dang it. Alright, here we go. Reload. Literally half the time. If only I could hit anything. And if only our AI didn't run in front of us. German. Ah, you son of a... Where that was. Alright, um... And this is where the SVT is really good, is just taking out a bunch of targets at once. Come on. As I continuously miss. Alright. Um, we'll wait until the next match to show you the last one. Alright, you guys may be asking me, why am I back on the Germans? Why do I have the car 98? Why the hell am I asking myself so many questions? Well, it's because in the time it took me to get to the next match, I was on my iPod, and I actually found out what the hell the sight hood is. Once I get up this wall, I will show you. Uh, I can't believe I didn't think of this. Um, I don't know who posted it. It was someone on the Steam forums. I want to thank them for that. It's pretty nice. 
uh, basically if you right click and use your scroll wheel you'll see this little thing kind of pop up and down that's the site hood basically that thing gets removed so you get a more open site when you uh, look through this but I'm gonna die here soon so I can uh, go show you the other uh, Russian thing I'll be right back alright guys uh, for some reason this thing wants to run in windowed mode which is kind of weird uh, I it crashed before when I switched to Russians and now it wants to play in windowed mode so uh, I will figure that out but basically the PPSH is the last thing I had to talk about uh, and I got a drum mag Woohoo! Uh, Tiger mentioned this I did not know it but uh, the PPSH apparently with the drum mag could not hold a full 75 rounds like it was supposed to it can only hold around 71, 72, possibly 73 and in this game it has 72 did not know that um, but uh, that is according to him very good uh, attention to detail I honestly thought it was just a weird magazine that the Russians made I, that's why I thought he had 72 or the weird that 72 not that um, anything special about it so that is that uh, this is a really crappy map to try and show this off with because well it's a submachine gun it's not very accurate at range and we've got a uh, guy shooting us so that's that um, make sure to comment like and subscribe I will uh, maybe do some gameplay with these things with some friends if they uh, ever decide to get on um, so yeah Catch you guys later.